All right, Brittany Merlot, what is it like where you are weather-wise? Right now, it is just overcast and cloudy. We got a couple of inches of snowfall, about four inches, and it's stopped for the moment, but winds are whipping. I've felt some gusts. Well, I've heard them, I should say. <laughs> the wall is just moving, right? Uh, right? 40 miles per hour, still still ongoing here into central yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. So what what is coming next? I mean, is this all, this isn't all going to move out by today, is it? No, it's not, unfortunately. So this low pressure system kind of hit Lake Michigan, stopped, and is now sliding south. It's like, I'm not crossing that lake. So <laughs> as I'll it does here. Right. <laughs> so that's what it's doing today. So we're going to continue to see scattered snow showers. Right now, La Crosse is still getting hit with some decent snowfall. And their reports already of 14.2 inches <sighs> as of 9 a.m. So they've got more Whoa! than that. <laughs> Yeah. Holy cow. I woke up to rain this morning. I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I 14 inches. I had no idea they got, they, they got that much snow. Yes. There was a pretty big heavy line from La Crosse that kind of shot across through and went towards Appleton and into Shawano, where they saw accumulations over a half of a foot to nearly a foot in those places. So is that stuff going to melt anytime soon or are they going to have to they're going to have to shovel it? Um, they're shoveling it, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> we are going to see some warmer temperatures this weekend into the forties and fifties and sunshine, and it'll take care of a lot of that. But what it's also doing, I mean, you guys got heavy rain. It was like nearly an inch and a half. Your rivers are flooding. I, it's so interesting that you mentioned that Brittany, because I take the same way into work every day and I drive down one of the parkways and the soccer field is covered. Uh, from the, the 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 river rising, it's yeah. This people need to keep an eye on things, especially if you live near any rivers or lakes or anything like that, because it's been it's been coming down. And this happened in like a day. Yes, I can swear it wasn't it wasn't like that yesterday. <laughs> no, no, not at all. It takes a little bit for those rivers to really absorb all the rain from the ground and the basins, and then they start to rise. And it's actually going to be peaking a lot of them this afternoon and through tomorrow morning. So it's going to get a little bit worse before they start to subside. But a lot of them, Turtle Creek, Sugar River, Fox River, Root River, even the Rock River. <laughs> All the rivers. All the rivers. All the yeah, rivers. But, <laughs> but, and, but hopefully this will alleviate some of the drought issues that we've had, right? Oh, my goodness. It helped so, so much. I mean, we went from 70% of the state in a drought to 30%. And now only 6% of Wisconsin is in a severe drought. So we're we're... Looking better. Well, that's good. And that's got to be a relief for our farmers. Now they just need things to dry out a little bit so they can get, get out into the fields, right? Exactly. We'll get there, though. Um, I had looked ahead to next week, Brittany, and at least in uh, in southeastern Wisconsin here, it was around, what, 60, 60 degrees by like Tuesday. Oh, yes. No, that is definitely possible. Temperatures climbing up there. Um, I think it's going to be more like the low 60s, though. I know a lot of people are looking and seeing some 70s and got their hopes up, but I, I would look for the 60s for sure. It's too soon. It's too soon. It's too, too soon for 70s. Exactly. And, and we, we might it was 70s this morning and now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, you ruined things. Oh, we always have to whine about the weather. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we had a little trivia question for you as we began our conversation with Brittany Merlot. What is the trivia question, Greg Bach? The trivia question is, what year did Raleigh Fingers win the MVP for the Brewers? 855-75-CIVIC. Sharky from Racine is on the line. Good morning, Sharky. You want to play for those Brewer tickets? Without cheating, I'm guessing, but uh, 82. Oh, I'm sorry, Sharky. That is incorrect. Thank, thank you for thanks, calling. Thanks, Sharky. I never had one get wrong. Sorry. You didn't, Sorry, buddy. Sorry. You didn't we have that. tomorrow. There'll be two chances. Friday, there'll be another chance. So please call again if you would. Yeah. But so we have, we have more tickets. Yep. Um, You still have a chance to call if you can get this trivia question right. The trivia question is Greg Bach. What year did Raleigh Fingers win the MVP for the Milwaukee Brewers? 855 75 Civic. 855-752-4842. Kevin from Wausau on the line. Good morning, Kevin. Did you want to take a shot at the trivia question? Yeah, I'll go with uh, 81. Ding, ding, ding. Well done, Kevin. Brittany is especially excited about this because Brittany is up in Wausau right now. So, yes, yes that is correct. Uh, Kevin from Wausau, please stay on the line. Calvin's going to get your information and get you to those tickets. 
That is a 7-10 game against the Mariners, which, by the way, is very interesting because they're in Seattle, which is where the Brewers originally came from as the Pilots. That's right. Because I didn't have a life in high school. So, <laughs> like we said, tomorrow, two more chances to win tickets. But thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you so much, Sharky, for calling in. Brewers trivia. Brewers trivia. All right. More chances coming up again tomorrow. Brittany Merlot, we will see you next week. Hopefully, things will be a little drier and a little warmer and less slushy overall. Absolutely. I'll try to have some good news for you finally. We don't we don't we don't take it personally. Having you on the show is <laughs> Brittany, having you on the show is always good news. Absolutely. News is coming up next and when we return we're going to learn about Skills USA and a special edition of the Public Service Announcement. Stay here. You're listening to Matt Nera 